Hey everyone, here at Earwolf, we're working hard to bring you the best comedy podcast. And a bunch of others. And we'd like to know, how are we doing? So please go to TakeMySurvey.net, that's TakeMySurvey.net, and tell us. It's a short survey with a few questions about Earwolf. Sorry, I'm not going to say which ones, but we are working hard to bring you the best comedy podcast, as well as several other podcasts. And so you take this survey. I think it's a lot of questions about the shows and which shows you listen to and, like, how old you are and um, who your dad is and stuff. Mm -hmm. Age, sex, location. There are maybe a series of questions on there. I've heard this. I don't know whether or not this is true. I don't know. We're not allowed to take the survey. But asking whether the hosts of any show – emailed you personally, maybe they, like, somehow, I don't know how they would even do this, got your information from looking at the listener logs yeah. on Chef Kevin's computer. Or if you ordered something from the merch store for their particular show, yes. and they reached out uh, using your address or email that you logged in with. And, and said, uh, hey, I'm the host of the show. Seems like you really like it. Would you like to meet in person? Or something, like, cooler than that. We've gotten the impression that those questions are on there, and we just wanted to say probably best to leave that area blank. Yeah, or uh, honestly even just say it didn't happen. Yeah, I would actually go so far because the because survey's it not probably a, did not. It probably didn't, and the survey's not about you. You know what I, I know. mean? Like yes. it's like it's sort of very egotistical and selfish to fill in this whole story about if a host tried to meet you and would it stop. Then that is so um, just self-centered when really it's supposed to be about the podcast. And we are working really hard to bring you the best comedy podcast as well as several other podcasts. So um, just ignore that part of it or just say no, it and didn't And if you happen. did fill in that it did happen, I, I would hate to see this, but it might come out that you were lying. Yeah, and you would have to be in big trouble and you will be getting – if, if that host heard about it, you'd be getting a lot more emails and the tone would be very different. So uh, one more time. Uh, and go you can to win a $100 Amazon gift card if oh, you fill shit. it out in Even like a better. nice way. If you do it nice, then you will be guaranteed to get the $100 Amazon gift card, which you're entering to win when you've taken the survey. And more importantly, you'll really be helping us out. Uh, it's a new survey, and it's just about Earwolf. So even if you've taken another survey, take this one and uh, answer it honestly, but think about your answers. So that's uh, takemysurvey.net. Uh, go do that and uh, just be chill. Damn. Wilson. And we're doing the live Beauty and the Beast of the Hollywood Bowl. Wow. And it's terrible. And I'm going, why does anyone want to see this? And like who is – you never really settled on who was going to be beauty. Well – because everyone on stage is beautiful in their I own know. way. And I, I, I knew you just kind of felt like it would shake out. You, like, kind of figure it out when you were up And there. honestly, who's going to be beauty is not the problem. It's who's yeah. going to be beast. And yeah. I think we all kind of agree who it should be. Uh-huh. But nobody wants to say it. Right. And so. You. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I'm the fucking beast mode. I woke up in beast mode, right? Yeah. And so. Um, Did you that day? Uh, that day I had not. Just you did because, not wake up in peace. No, but you know why? Never went to sleep. Okay. Never went to sleep. How could I wake up in beast mode? Because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. I'm doing bulletproof coffee. Which you don't keeps, sleep when you're on that. Yeah, it keeps you awake. So the butter time releases. Mm-hmm. The, just the as caffeine. you're just as you're about to enter your REM cycle, the butter just kicks you in the tuchus. So I am. Doing it and singing and kind of going like, and as they, every time somebody mentions Beast, I'm kind of like giving a little thumb towards myself subtly so the audience can't see, but they can. Yeah. And um, but not singing. And Tay and Tay's on day. No, I'm never singing. Tay's on day keeps shaking it off because he's thinking maybe he can do it. Okay, but he didn't woke up in Beast mode, and I guess neither did I. And Zoe is like, whoa, whoa. yeah. And Rebel Wilson is going. Whoa. I'm a rebel just for kicks, man. I'm a kick in it since 1966, man. I get So uh we you know, we suddenly just like turn to the stage manager just go, cut the lights, cut the whole thing. Mm-hmm. Thank God this is just a rehearsal, there's no one here. Right. 
And we go. Tough to get off stage at that point, though. And, and, well, yeah. And me and Tay, the first one, just leave. Yeah. We say, good luck to you. So I guess they're still doing it, but I don't know who would want to see that. Hey, welcome to Hollywood Handbook, an insider's guide to, to kicking, kicking butt, butt and dropping, dropping names, names on the red carpet line back hallways of this industry we call showbiz. showbiz. Uh, what we up, what hate being sad. And we love to feel happy and have friends. We love happiness and mm. having fun. And, and light. But we also love to do a tribute. And that can be almost both. Mm-hmm. Do you know of a flavor that has both bitter blue and sweet? Blue raspberry. Yes. The sweet blue and the, the sweet sour blue and ras- the sour from the rotten raspberries that have turned blue from molding over in the mm-hmm. trunk of your car. So we're doing a show today that is blue raspberry or blue zazberry, mm-hmm. you know? And it's sweet. Do you want to go off of that for one second longer? Blue it's Zazberry? A, yes. Well, to me, if you're not having fun with the name, why are you even doing a podcast? It's an audio yeah. format. Yes. So let's take some of these sounds that we know, Raspberry, uh-huh. and dress them up with a little Zazz. Mm-hmm. You know, and I think that it creates in the listener's mind a sort of new Feature at the playground. Blue raspberry, okay, that's a swing. But mm-hmm. blue zazberry, this swing goes all the way up to 11. The sound of it? I guess so. <laughs> I, Julie, can you help me out? I was just admiring how polished this <laughs> intro was because usually I feel like you guys are a little off the cuff. There's some riffing, but well, I was going to take my t- to it, surprise. It, so it sounded really scripted. Well, I know, and that I'm trying to follow. I mean, I'm trying back, to take like everyone down the garden path here. I just didn't want to make you know, just like blow by Blue Zazberry. I was like, uh, did he know that Hayes was going to ask him about? The Z- like to unpack the Zazberry. Well, and because then it's like, then, oh, of course he did. Yes. Mm. Yeah. But, but otherwise, people online are like, oh, he just blew by Blue Zazberry. Right. And he had that whole playground metaphor. Yes. Mm-hmm. What, a, what a way to describe a swing. We want to do a tribute to our friend Cody. Cody's an engineer. <laughs> our former friend. Cody's an. Uh, uh, our former engineer. <laughs> Cody used to be an engineer. Has anyone else done any kind of tribute to you? Absolutely not. We're the first ones who are talking about this. Yeah, Cody quit. Congratulations! Out of Cody. I can only assume guilt at having made people work with him for this long. Well, and it must have felt fucked up to be getting paid for this. It's so great. To I be assume back. he'll Thank still be engineer. And Julie, so I, have just, I have just—I am going to bring you in you. as a surprise. Oh, believe me, okay, it's going to be important that you're here. Why? So you you felt bad for having done such a bad job for so long. You basically have committed the crime of the century at Earwolf. You stole a huge amount of money, and now the heist is complete, and you're going to go to the to the island or whatever. You could characterize it that way, I suppose. Do you not think though that I did the job that that got me the the money? I did the job that got me the money. Well, no, I would disagree with that. I would disagree it's with that. It's an interesting premise. I would I would have to also say no, you did not do it. Are you drinking beer? <laughs> Is that a stout? It's um you are gone. You are one foot out the door. Cody's drinking a lower, uh, since yeah. it's his last week, a yeah. lower alcohol it's content ten, it's, beer it's that, he will, in the that morning. he will normally have uh, for a Monday morning record. Mm-hmm. It's like, you the, know, day, it's like the daytime kind. Does it have butter in it? Like the bulletproof? It sure does. Look at that froth. I like to mm. go to the movie theater and just pump that butter into my Dunkin'. Right into my your Dunkin'. coffee? My, yeah. I, like, uh, I run on Dunkin'. Oh, Sean uses, wow. he says it's butter for his. It's like, he calls it white butter, which is What's mayonnaise. That? It's mayonnaise. Mm. Yeah. And it's <laughs> and it has a little coffee From on top. From Subway? The light mayonnaise yes. one? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Cool. Mayonnaise, yeah. M-A-N... A's. You know what I mean? 
Man, yeah. what, it's, what, it's come? Man, man, man. Come on, Julie. <laughs> what, Jesus man? Christ, it's 10.30 in the so- morning. I'm not the one drinking beer with mayonnaise. Man, man haze is what he... That's what he has to call you now? <laughs> That's what he... Yeah, he, yeah. Your guys, it's fascinating because I have been here a lot, and thank you so much for having me back. And we are going to do it as a surprise. You have been Wait. here a lot, and but I you just, still get lost, but you're don't di- you? I do, every time. But um, <laughs> your dynamic changes. Status. Does it? Well, now mm. he has to call you Man Hayes. Well, I am the I am the co-host at best. You think Hayes is the host? I'm sort of a sidekick figure, and yet, as evidenced by how I am leading everyone down this garden path. Mm-hmm. I am driving the bus to a specific goal, which is bringing out Julie as a surprise mm-hmm. for the Cody tribute. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because, because Cody quit, right? But I'm his favorite. Guy. I'm like the Bette Midler, like the penultimate night of easily Johnny's yeah, yeah reign. Yeah. I've seen a lot of you guest types, and number one number for the one. code, man. Thank you, Cody. And, uh, Cody, talk about some of the guests that you've seen over the years. Mm. You wouldn't believe, like, every shape, size, color, everything. Wow. A- and personality. Thank you. Just a huge variety. Thank you. And okay. it's been a, a joy. What's your favorite moment with a guest? Ooh. Can we circle back? <laughs> it's so scripted now. It's changed. The show's changed. The show's, this show's changed. very it organized now. Well, here's what we want to do, Cody. It used to be a little rough around the yeah, edges. It's, here's what we want to do. Like stiff. Loosen your bun for me, please. <laughs> we're you know we're here my to hair. my hair. You mean you know we work together, but now you're here is like our friend a little bit. Oh, so I let's do for hair let's that thick. lower that bun. Wow. Thank you. Um. Mm. What we want to do Garnier. is we will celebrate Cody because Cody quit uh, with a musical, and who better to do the musical and loves them? And ever... it's her main thing oh. is Julie. Have mm-hmm. I ever done something on the show that wasn't a musical? Oh, the vampire yeah. novels episode. Yeah, mm-hmm. when that was like a big thing. Yep. But now it's musical. <laughs> Musicals are back. Mm-hmm. Thanks. Uh, and Julie's here to do and uh, and and we're bringing out to a special surprise <laughs> to do the musical with you, and it's Julie. Hi guys, I'm so excited to be here. I was kind of hoping, Cody, that you would say that Julie was like a great guest, like one of your favorite guests that you love, and then we'd bring her out as a surprise. If you're just kind of feeling what I'm trying to do here, circle back. But. Oh, oh, I see what you mean. Julie! Julie. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, but, Cody, now, what, and so what we want to do is do a musical that celebrates your career at Earwolf. So tell us, not with Julie, but tell us about like a great experience with a guest that you had. Mm-hmm. And we'll Why do an improvised me? musical because we're the podcast that does that. Why not with me, though? Well, Hayes just has a hang up about this. Because you are it's deferent to him. It's like alpha beta dog yeah, stuff. Sort of his. Their status fluid. It's because fascinating. I, because yeah. I feel like it's it's more for you to like be able to play a different character than yourself in the musical. It can be Julie if you want it to be. But oh, also, is this here's sort the of thing, like, Julie. Are we taking this as a suggestion? Is this yes? Impro- okay. We're the podcast that does these. Mm-hmm. And another thing with Cody is if you say, like, pick a, th- a moment with a guest that you've had that's your favorite, and it can be Julie, mm-hmm. he'll just be like, oh, yeah, it's Julie. Yeah. <laughs> like, he'll, just, he'll go of... straight for whatever you offer as a possibility. Yeah. He will go right for that. Yeah, that's a Cody impression mm-hmm. that is for the ages. Yeah. And so I want to challenge him a little bit. Have you thought of anything yet? You've seen well, you mentioned 10,000 guests. Do not <laughs> say Julie. You can say Julie. Julie is see. a good one. Thank you. Okay, name one more. And what's okay? Or be, fine. Or be more okay. specific. Okay. About yeah. Say how a, I was. Great. Say a great memory that you had with Julie. Yeah, that'll be good. One. Well, one. Um, it, it can't be from this episode. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's possible. One thing about this place is we really haven't had like an employee handbook or anything like that for a real long time. Oh my god. So I uh, I don't 
remember a ton of details on certain things. And that's like not you in the would handbook. if there were an employee handbook. You would have like, a better memory of your own so, life and this experience. This is what he's. This stuff? I think is what's happening now. Too? Cody is. What's the, happening here, now? Time's up. Let me try to follow Cody's thought process. He was told to do something. He lo- had to look on his computer and say, "What show is this? What show am I handbook. doing right now?" The, probably like says handbook somewhere on his screen, and so that's what he's kind of riffing off of now. Mm. Mm. That's the only explanation I can come up with. Nothing else makes any sense. Yeah, so Cody, maybe let's not make it about podcasts or being an engineer here. Just give me a positive memory from your life, and we can work off of that a little. Because at the end of the day, it's a celebration of you. And if what you like and what you remember is not anything at all from the place where you've spent most of your days for the past Eight years? How long? Six. Six wow. years? Wow. wow. Okay. So so you don't remember anything from the past six years here? Okay. <laughs> let's let's just take that as a given. Hey, your life, not mine. <laughs> what do you remember, period? <laughs> yeah, it could be bad. <laughs> it could also What's be bad. What's your worst memory? It yeah. could also be bad because we did mention it is supposed to be Blues Asbury flavored. So mm-hmm. maybe it's an upbeat song about a bad experience. Something about you getting hurt. That's one of your things. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, those were real bad. Yeah. Physically? Yeah. Well, we could talk about maybe now is the time I could confess to when I was 15, we burned down a shed. Jeez. Okay, and we, <laughs> I knew you and, I knew you and your was, other personalities. I, I knew this was going to happen. <laughs> yeah, because it's all written out, <laughs> like you said. Yeah, I got yeah, my scripted. sides. Sometimes these sheds, you know. What are you doing after it. this? Now that you've now that you're moving on, where mm, are you going? Yeah, next? What's, what's next? your next step? Is that what the musical's about? I'm going freelance. Yeah. What does that mean? Nothing. He's so you're going to be that. doing this, but on your own schedule? He's working at Medieval Times. He calls <laughs> jousting freelancing. Oh, that's fun. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. I just want to point out to you, Cody, I know, I guess you don't remember this, but you got to meet LeBron James here. <laughs> you took a picture with him. Oh, wow. That's true. That was a good one. Now that you Did you guys do it. a musical with him, too? Yeah. He's the other the, the guy that comes in here and like that's our mm-hmm. kind of our thing with him. We did vampire novels with him and then we yep. did musical with him. Yeah. He is mm-hmm. very funny and smart. Wow. I wish he was here now. Why would you say that what like that? What does that mean? You wish he was here now. I mean I wish he was I'm here a, now. I'm also going off Cody's thing like Instead of who? No, I didn't say instead. I like Why do we need him? Smart, this is funny. going great. <laughs> Why do we need LeBron James? You sound drunk too. Get out of here. Drunk. Did you just s- fucking so st- what are you even talking about? Did you sleep last night? No. Hmm. Why? Butter. <laughs> Little man haze. He he likes to say so the reason he says it that way is he likes to say man haze kept him up all night. What did you do? It, well, it's the mayonnaise, but I think it's a funny, like, sort of lewd way, you uh-huh. know, as mm-hmm. if, like, we were having sex. Uh-huh. Oh. Yeah. That's the implication. Really? I guess. Huh. It's a joke. As soon as my head hit the pillow, that mayonnaise uh, <laughs> wouldn't leave me alone. See, it's like a, it's a, joke. It's a little joke. It's a little joke. It's funny to us, just the idea of two men. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Kissing and, yeah, it's like... Kissing and everything would be insane. Such a funny joke. And we wouldn't do it. Well, it's a joke. It's a timeless joke. Mm -hmm. Through the ages, all the funniest people have had that joke. Where, like, Uh two guys kiss? Yes. Like, in a skit? Please. The craziness of that. Mm -hmm. I mean, the... It's so funny because it's like it is something that's timeless, but at the same time, whenever I see it, I'm like, I've never seen that before. Yeah, it feels fresh. And one big regret we have in doing an audio format is that we can't cross-dress as well. (laughs) Because when Mm -hmm. you really look back at the annals of comedy, and and I almost could have said anal there, which also is something funny to us, um, you see that all the legends – 
at one point or in a tutu. put on some like a tutu is like the, the funniest. Can I just say the tutu? If people are listening for comedy school, yeah, which they are, mm-hmm. because my comedy school pays performers. By the way, oh my gosh, no, <laughs> no, yeah. we can't talk You're about that. Here. Oh yeah, I just wanted to put that out there. You Whoa. get you get a dollar a minute of stage time. Oh, I pay that you a dollar it to me. Yeah. Well, it expenses it to me because I end up. Well, actually, I don't make money. There's Money's no, going the wrong direction. I'm sorry. That's I'm not, not good art. at like the business. I'm sorry. That's not art. But I was yeah. just going to say, like, a tutu is the funniest way for a man to cross dress. That was Tut- all I was going to say. Tutu's funny. Yeah. I was going to say all the legends have leggings. <laughs> so I, you know, I don't know what's better. Mm-hmm. Maybe if you did tutu and then some leggings somebody working in like Toucan Sam. Or and something. somebody yeah. wear the tutu and the man uh, says, oh, I'd like to meet like a different man who's mm-hmm. like an old rich man. Says like, oh, I'd like to make some time with that sweetie over there, the tutu. And the guy is like, go, 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 go. but he has to keep it up. Yes. Keep what up? The the the, the, the Oh, the, I thought you meant you had to like the charade. Yeah, yeah the funny charade. Stay hard. The charade yes. Carmichael. Right. <laughs> right? Yeah. Yes. Cody, have you thought of anything else that we can do something on about sure. you? Yeah, sure did. Yes. Uh, one of my absolute favorite, and this is a real one, was the Pauly Shore app. Your guy's show. Did you do that one? Oh, yeah, that's yeah, right. Yeah, he did, remember? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. He said a slur on that show, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I did? Yes. No, uh, yes, <laughs> sure. Yes, you did, Cody. Yeah. Uh, Julie okay. gets the raw feeds. <laughs> <laughs> I give notes. Mm-hmm. I have a lot of notes. I have my, micro. I have micro and macro notes, and which is great because we Julie always has an eye on world building for the show. Yeah, mm-hmm. uh, she wants us to be protecting our characters, mm-hmm. which is something we sometimes lose sight of when we go for the joke. Mm-hmm. It always begins so much funny stuff in here, which I really appreciate. I, I love, love reading that. that at the beginning of. Yeah. Uh, no, it, mm-hmm. it lets me know that I did a good job. And then I send you checks because I believe mm-hmm. in paying performers. Yeah. Yes, which actually does make it not art. I'm fine with that. I mean, are you guys fine There's with that? There's no amount of money that could uh, co- like properly commodify the exposure that you get from being like one of 700 people uh, on a team at this theater. Yeah. Well, it's, pretty com- it's pretty complicated, and I don't know what theater you're talking about. We're just talking about my, Julie's my comedy, comedy school. school. Okay, so, okay, great. And it's and it's pretty complicated, actually. My comedy school, or just the jet just the, the idea issue. of oh, paying yeah, yeah, people. No. You must be up to it your n- freaking neck and paperwork. Yeah, uh, the checks I get have the green M M&M and M squirting. <laughs> Has the green M M&M and M squirting for the first time? And the John Lovitz one is like that's never happened. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wow. So those okay. are my those are my checks. And if you guys want to say that that's not art, that is. As long as the artist who drew that wasn't paid. Okay, so Cody, you have a lot, a lot of songs. I uh, yeah, we got one here. Did you want to do music? <clears throat> yeah, let's do some. We're music. gonna have to. Yeah. So, J- Julie, how does a musical about Cody open? How does it start? I feel like it would be like, um, well, I've never seen Hamilton, but I know the Hamilton polka. Okay. Mm. Oh, okay. <laughs> The Weird Al version yes, of the of Hamilton. Jimmy Fallon lip sync to, wow. and it was like a total surprise. Did y'all see Jimmy Fallon do the freaking <laughs> Hamilton poker? Do the, no, but did y'all see Jimmy Fallon do the Bob Dylan song and basically freaking roast my man Trump? And they had been previously pretty good friends. What was the song? Well, it's like the times they are changing. Oh. Mm-hmm. But it's about the times now and are changing. Okay. There's one joke in it, and then there's a lot of observations. Yeah. About the times now, Hayes. That's the a- song is old, yeah. and it looked like a black and white movie. Yeah. And he's singing like just like the guy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But the words are like, whoa. And the joke almost 
softened me up to receive the message, Yeah, which was powerful as hell. It's one of those ones where I just sat on my couch and yeah. stared afterward. That's a note I like to give in my comedy school is have one joke – and then mm-hmm. the rest should just be supporting evidence. And the rest should be, yes, and and messagery. And, and that joke mise-en-scene. is like the sweet sugar on the broccoli. Mm-hmm. And then you want to eat your vegetables. And then, yeah, and down mm-hmm. goes the medicine. Mm-hmm. So in the Hamilton polka, he um, opens with, uh, you know, how does a – how does a man so and so? Yeah. So maybe mm. we could do that, but it's about Cody instead. Should we play the Hamilton polka just to hear what it sounds like? Because he took it already first from Hamilton. Is he can't get mad? Oh, I at never us. thought of it that way. Right? Okay. We're actually being we're we're playing it like to like I like Robin Hood. I, might I wouldn't get a mind little, hearing some of that might, Bob Dylan one too. Yeah, I we all have requests. Cody, why don't you play DJ for the day, man? Sure, man. Yeah, and we can play the Jimmy Fallon one, too, because he stole that He's from Bob Dylan. It. So we're Robin Hood, and we're taking Prince John stole it from the people. Papa John? Yes. Papa John stole it from the people, and Fallon took it back. Mm-hmm. And Or wait, no. He's Papa John. He's Papa John. And Fallon we're, is? And we're, yes. I love lip syncing. Oh. Oh, it's so funny when like we should do when that. like straight guys do it. It's so funny. It's we, like wearing a dress. I wish we could do that. That's another thing I wish we could do on if the they show. Do yeah. a it just song. sounds like yeah. we have tried to do it before. It just sounds like playing the song. Oh. Picture this though, because you That's did mention straight yeah. guys. Yeah. A stud. Uh-huh. And he's doing like Shakira. But he's really into it. Mm-hmm. What do you mean he's doing Shakira? Like that's the song he lip syncing. Oh, I see. And he's doing his hips like a girl. And really doing it. Mm-hmm. Have you guys seen this before? Is this just thing you're coming up with right now? I'm picturing what I want on TV. I'm sorry. Put what you want to see on TV out there. Mm-hmm. You know what, what I mean? What would you want to watch? Yeah. That's what and you actually think about fight making. for a better world. Don't say that like you can't actually make change in the world. Can I use this in my comedy school? Uh, I'll pay you both. Okay. Okay, yeah. Why do you sound so reluctant about being? Well, I just—it's art. It's hard because it's art for me. Oh, I understand. And like the exposure is already so valuable, I don't want to cheap at it. Okay, okay, I understand. If you guys have stuff like ideas that aren't art, you know where to go. It can be pretty complicated. It's just the tax, I know. I agree that it's complicated. People system. People come to see the show, and then they pay money to the theater for the show, right. and then the money the end. goes away. The end. It's very. It's very the unclear. The end. Why are what, we still talking? What yeah, happens? To they got to rent the theater. Maybe they should not open as many new theaters. Hang on. Hang on. I have. Then there wouldn't be enough stage. Time. I agree with you. Oh, let me put this thing on. <laughs> I've made love to the Hamilton polka. Hollywood handbook. Interior, China Casino. Wah, wah, wah. Yeah, I guess I'm just a normal guy customer at the casino. Gonna, uh, oh, this game looks like a lot of action. I guess I'll put big money down. A man with a long beard that uh, is not white. It's very dark black, and it's tied up with a bunch of bows, who is not Santa Man, doesn't even look like Santa Man, walks up to the table for gambling. Ah, oh, hello, a uh, rich guy who's winning a lot of the games. Uh, it's just me here to play with you uh, with my normal beard color. Hua, hua. Wah. Moriarty stands at the table and he looks at the man with a skeptical face. All right, you seem like a high stakes gambler. Care to place your bet, stranger? Oh, I'm addicted to the action. Uh, I will bet all of the money and, and twice as much. The man that's a stranger puts all the money on the table and they spin the dice. Ha! Huh, looks like I lost a fair and square game, and uh, you, so I guess you just reach out and collect the money or whatever. Yes, better luck next time, stranger, and maybe next time the luck will be in your favor. Hiya! Hwa! Kia! Hiya! Whee! 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 What? what? Look, what's this in his sleeve, everyone, and security, too? 
the ace of spades. I knew it was you, Moriarty. Wee, 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 wee. And now, uh, look, I'm taking the bows out of my beard. And and he also uses a Harry's razor to to shave off the bows and, and to wee, shave wee, wee. the dye shave out the of color his out. beard. Exactly. Wee, wee, wee. Moriarty, your days running a fixed game at this casino that uses dice and cards are over. What? What? No. It can't be. Sentiment! That's right, Moriarty. I actually survived under the ice for days drinking my own urine, although I guess it was fresh water if it was frozen. But anyway, I'm here now. And the, and it kept me warm, too, to drink the pee And now, here I'm catching you, and you can no longer use the money from this fixed game for doing terrorism, and Harry's razors will win again. Please, Sentiment, don't make me read the ad promotion for Harry's razors. You punishment. must! Harry stands behind the quality of their blades, but they know that switching razors isn't wee, an easy wee, decision. Wee, 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 so they created wee, a trial wee, offer. Wee, wee, Get a $13 wee, wee. value trial set that comes with everything you need for a close, comfortable shave. Weighted ergonomic handle, five-blade razor with a lubricating strip and trimmer blade, rich lathering shave gel, travel blade cover by going to harrys.com slash handbook. That's enough! Wee, wee, wee. And now it's time for me to finish you off. Unless you friggin' slide out of your jacket and escape once again. Moriarty takes the ad copy and forms it into a knife and slices the sleeves off his jacket. Ha! We- oh, no, Moriarty! Oh, our listeners can redeem their trial set at harrys.com slash handbook and go to harrys.com slash handbook to redeem their offer. And I now, uh, do I, so, okay, so sorry, so the game was fixed, so do I I get the money, his money, too, or I can take mine back at least, right? Like, I lost the dice roll, but... Sandman takes some of the money and has a look Just, on his face like... This was maybe- mine. I mean, I came in with this. Wee, wee, wee. Uh, are we good? Hollywood Handbook. Wow, Casper is a sleep brand that continues to revolutionize its line of products to create an exceptionally comfortable sleep experience. No kidding. One night at a time. Yeah, no kidding. And so breaking news, Casper is a great mattress. Okay, okay I think yeah. I've heard that before, and I heard it in my sleep Ooh, while how, I was sleeping. How do we it. get this scoop? Yeah, no, it's the oldest story. It's it's literally the greatest story ever told. <laughs> it's the oldest tale. It's a legend that we all know, the Models of the Casper mattress of the Wave, the Essential, uh, and the original Casper are basically the three archetypes that uh, you see over and over again in storytelling. Joseph Campbell talked about these mattresses. Mm -hmm. But one thing that we didn't necessarily discuss before because we're so focused on the amazing night's sleep you can get is that these are really good mattresses to get a good firm massage on and just for people to really dig in and hit all the points. So you can sleep on it at night on your back. But what about during the day? When the sun comes up, you're looking at this thing and like, what is this? Like, I just throw it away? No. You keep it, and they they have technology now uh, that you can now cut a hole in the mattress for your face. And stick your face through and still be able to breathe and see the shoes of the person who's standing above you and is – Really digging in and getting all the points and giving a firm massage. Yeah, so instead of getting up and throwing it away, you can stay on it all day getting a massage. Whether it's your scalenes, your rhomboids, your QL, or your iliopsoas that needs a little extra attention, just Call me rest assured. Oh, yes. <laughs> sar, sar, sartorius. And that's the tailor muscle, which actually articulates from one of your hip points all the way down across on the opposite side of the knee. And so if you picture a tailor sort of with their one leg crossed over their knee up in the air so that they can uh, do the stitching on, yeah. on that surface, they're activating that muscle. The and tailor and pose. what someone could do on a Casper mattress is just go all the way down it and mm-hmm. get on the inside and touch it. And so you do want to cut a new hole every time you do this because your face was all rubbed up in the original hole. Obviously, your face is gross. 
and you do have dirty. to fill up the hole. So yeah, when you get up, you're gonna find that your face has produced a lot of stuff that has filled the hole. Hayes and I came into this. Yes, it's great because then when you go to sleep again, there's not a hole in your mattress, but you're gonna have to cut a new hole, ideally in a different place, because what happens to the first hole is it does start to grow stuff. So um, uh, get a fifty dollar uh, you know thing towards select mattresses by visiting casper.com slash the boys and using the boys at checkout. That's casper.com slash the boys. Offer code the boys for $50 off your mattress. It comes purchase. in a box and you can sleep in it for 100 nights risk free, free trial. And I think you can cut as many holes in it as you want and yeah. they'd still give it back. And I just want to speak. I think. I'm I not speak sure about a that. A little bit to my unboxing experience, which it was really easy. It was really cool. It felt great. But what happened to me is I'm very weak and I hurt myself. Uh, during the unboxing, and so I needed a good firm massage right afterwards. And so I got down there, and I called up Engineer Cody, and he was able to dig in, and he didn't even really need to use lube or anything because he's so slimy, and he gave me one of the firmest massages I've ever had. And he was able to dig in and hook his thumbs and his fingers in sort of a pinch into my suboccipital muscles and almost felt like he was going to pull my skull right off. But when he finally released and when I start screaming, <laughs> I didn't have a headache anymore. Cody, can you say one stupid thing about that, please? please. Tacos. <laughs> Deadpool, ladies and gentlemen. Whoa. Hollywood handbook. Hi, Kevin. Sit down. Kevin. Kevin, Chef Kevin, what was it like in the office when Cody said he was going to quit? Hey, guys, Chef Kevin here. We were devastated. Um, it, How did he do it? Uh, I mean, via email. It wasn't a Jerry Maguire moment. <laughs> Can we read the email? Uh, we should that score it though. I, maybe, is that wait, allowed? Can Cody? I ask a qu- can I can yeah. I have a pitch? Can we play the Hamilton polka and have him read the email over it? Yeah. Is there a Hamilton polka? Um, yeah. W- no, like no vocals. No, instrumental. Vo- no Hold on. Uh, Hamilton polka instrumental. All right, clocking in. Hold on. <laughs> Come, leaders who bully like internet trolls will curse you with four-letter words, love and hope. For we will go high even when you go low. The order is rearranging. These are lyrics Whoa. from the freaking. No. <laughs> yes. I was going to say, that's, that's quite Cody's an email. email. Cody, that's very strident. You're burning some bridges, my friend. What if you need a recommendation from... This is freaking you. crazy. That's true. That's true. Fair enough. Is there a Hamilton polka instrumental? No. I think the words will help. Okay. So play the Hamilton polka. How long is it? It's 45 minutes. Five minutes long. Okay, great. Yeah, and just play that, start it, and then you can lower the volume. And oh, then, I must have been And then fucking... start to read at least like excerpts from your resignation email. I just realized I must have been fucking to it while it was on repeat. Hang on, here's Cody's... I do not take five here's, minutes to come. Here's Cody's email from the beginning. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yes. It's come gather around people. It's commercials. It's an ep- it's a, it's, this is us. Wherever with you com- roam. Without commercials, I should say. Mm-hmm. 45, right? And admit that our it, country don't your, feel like our spec. home. And that silence 45. speaks louder than those Pages? who condone. My it's spec. a page a minute, Hayes. And here's where it really gets crazy. I'm trying to listen to this. <laughs> if a tweet to you is worth faving... Then lift up your voices and put down your phones for the times they are a changing. Whoa. Now, Bob Dylan couldn't have said that. No. Only Cody could say that. Wait, that was the lyrics of the Fallon song? Or well, that was Cody's I don't know. I, I think that Cody took a lot of the Fallon song lyrics mm-hmm. and put them in his email. But he's stealing from the thief. You know what I'm saying? Well, yes. He's Fast. bringing it back to the people. It's just right. what we wanted right. to do. Right. Okay, ready, Cody? Yeah. I found the joke. How does a bastard orphan son of a whore and a Scotsman drops in the middle okay, of Okay, now just like... That's actually... We're only allowed to play five seconds. It's stolen music, Cody. We play the same Cody. five seconds We are over returning and over again? the stolen by, music to the people. At this point, yeah. my bra was still on. And we You know are, what I mean? And we are criticizing it. My we're pa- doing it for criticism. My, my panties were on the floor, though. And it's... Uh, that's, that, that's criticism. <laughs> Bathroom floor. All right. I mean, it's a legal risk. I just it's my job to say that. A man haze. All right. Okay. Play the song. Cody's email. Do it. Play the song. Caribbean, my providence, impoverished, and swallowed. Grow up to be a 
lower it. I'm writing to officially inform you <laughs> that I am resigning from my position as an Earwolf audio engineer. Is there a subject? The subject, my official resignation. <laughs> Wow, okay. Any other good parts? I would be loath to leave the company entirely. Depending on my availability and the company's willingness, I would be more than happy to offer freelance services upon request. Okay. I'll be out of state. Coming up soon. And I can see his I can see his screen and it actually says I loathe the company entirely. <laughs> So he's adding some stuff here, sort of sugarcoating the message. So you're, you're going to be out of state. Yes. This is true. This, this point is mutual oral. At this point. So the world turned upside down. It's like yeah. kind of a 69 yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, my time at Earwolf has been more than incredible. The direction and collaboration and inspiration I have experienced here is, in all honesty, a contributor to my desire to leave my employment as a recording engineer. It's our fault! <laughs> you had such a good time here. You want to leave? The job's so good, I realize I, I shouldn't I, do I it. I definitely want to quit. Is it Officially. like, this ice cream is too good, take it away from me. I can't keep it in my house. Wow. And advance my skills further. Uh-huh. Uh-oh. No one else was in the room where it happened. The room where it happened. And in earnest sincerity, Cody Scully. Okay, you can turn it off now. Okay, Cody. <sighs> I got some other parts Powerful of his email stuff. if you want to hear. It. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, we did the part about uh, if a tweet to you is worth faving, right? I found the yeah. joke. Okay. He, oh. And it, it's in a good spot for a joke because it's in sort of a lighter section of what he was talking about. Come women and men who hashtag me too and believe me when I say that we believe you. For weak is the man who calls truth fake news. Time's up. Our silence were breaking. And even though Mel Gibson was in Daddy's Home too, <gasps> well, the times they are a change. Oh, that is good. Wow! So it does, legend status. Yes, pop culture. The legends references. wear leggings, my man. We are about to go there because it's like, how did that guy get to be in that movie? Mm-hmm. 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 Excuse me. And also, may I? How about this? Remember that? Remember that movie? Remember That's that a joke. movie? That's a joke. That's a joke. And how, yes, remember that movie? What he, else do you guys remember from the movies? He didn't call him Drumpf. He didn't call him Drumpf. He didn't. He? Uh, let me see. <laughs> let me see. I hope he did. That's, that's mean, Sean. That might be too far. Sean, do you really hope that? Some of this shit fucking you trip out on. Mm-hmm. Athletes with platforms throughout the land who by taking a knee or taking a stand. Wait, that's the opposite. That was that. But episode. wait, that's not the opposite. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's interesting. That's Did artful. he stop for a while to let people think about that part? That's artful. Cody? Yeah. I There's bet. a big break. Nobody There's was a paid bunch for of blank this. space uh-huh. in the email. No one was paid add, for this because it's artful. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Art beat. That was, yeah. Wow. You guys seen Gronish? That's okay. actually where I'm going to work. And that's all the good You're rave. going to go work at Gronish? Yep. It's funny you brought that up. You know, when I was making love in the toilet, um, I was a little groanish. I'd be like, oh. mutual, <laughs> mutual oral on a toilet. It was in a stall. Okay. There was privacy, or uh, privacy, as the Brits like to say. Oh, well, mm-hmm. then you'd be in the water closet. So, <laughs> I think it's time. Look, we've heard the email. We've heard a great song. I think now we have a real vision of Cody. Yeah. What his message is. Cody, you know what would actually be really nice, just since we did play the song, is to say, that was my idea. You're leaving. So what? you can't get in any trouble. So to say, like, just something we could put in at the beginning, like, I'm playing the song. It's my Cody's Maybe choice. Maybe there's a song like, yeah. what, what you gonna do? Yes. Yes. Like Bad Boys? Yes. Yeah, it wouldn't be bad if it had a little reggae beat to it. That's for sure. 
So, Cody, the, like, just a song where you're, like, taunting. I played more than five Weird seconds. Al. What you gonna do? Yes. Yeah. And. I stole your PayPal password. And maybe password. you say, maybe you say. Scott Ackerman. I, what you gonna do? I, Cody Scully, am fully financially responsible for any kind of. Uh, you know repercussions that come. That could be a really good tribute to Cody. That could be really cool. Hmm. Just kind of send him out with a great tribute. Mm-hmm. Cody, see if you can find a reggae beat, and then maybe you're just jamming, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. About how it's your fault. But there are no repercussions coming to you because you don't work here. Because what are they going to do? Well, they can't even find you. You're not going to be in the state. <laughs> oh, is there going to be like a catch me if you he can? He clearly kind of? doesn't want people to know what state he's going to be in. And uh, it almost makes yeah. me think that he is going to be, maybe not in L.A., but he is going to be in California. He'll be in California, so. but he's going to be in a different state, meaning right. he's going to be zooted to the freaking moon. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's going to well, be in an altered state. He's going to be freelancing. Oh, he'll be freelancing all right. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> it just sounded like the beginning to <laughs> Yeah, to we something. thought we were going to say something else. Freelancing, you know, just like. Oh, I, right, I, I right, just thought right. it was going to be a little It would be a setup to a, yeah, yeah, a second se- half of something. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. That would be terrific. Do you guys have anything? Maybe like Daddy's Home 2 something something. Uh-huh. Okay. Because it's a sequel. Mm-hmm. that will be freelancing, all right. Did you find Daddy's the music? Home. Yeah. <laughs> It'd be like Cody's home, too. Cody's home. That could be good. That could be two. good. All right. So you requested a reggae song? Right? Yes. All right. Here we go. This doesn't sound like reggae to me. No, it doesn't to me either. I think that might be the joke. This is like- but can you, uh, can you just say? That- oh, there's a joke? Yeah, it's kind of. You guys have to under. point these out to me because, like, that one was hidden. Cody, can you say uh, it was my idea to play the Hamilton polka? It was my idea to play the Hamilton polka. More than five seconds of it. More than five seconds of it. And Which, keep going. And I will be held responsible for all legal and financial ramifications of said decision. What you gonna do? Ram handifications. Remember when that was your name? Yeah, Ram hand. Mm. Seek out Ram hand for a night for financial restitution. I would cut that part later. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's just less tight. Was it your goal just to outlast Kulop? <laughs> yes. Is that was that kind of like? It was your... just like a hands on a hard body type thing. Kulop should have a song. We really Does should Kulop be doing a, tribute. a song in here. We yes. really should be doing a tribute to Kulop in the musical that we've been doing. If Let's Kulop do could be it. like an angel, like beckoning him to like the gates of heaven. Oh yeah. yeah. And be like, join me. That's join nice. me, Cody. On the other side. That's nice. Mm-hmm. It's nicer here. It's like in Black Panthers. Okay, so they're in the Black Panther like ancestral world. Yes. Mm-hmm. And Kulop comes walking up. Yes. Okay. Hey. <laughs> no, Cody, do yours. Cody, you go. Cody, by all means. Yeah. Finish your finish your idea. And obviously it needs to be a female singing voice, so you go ahead. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. How you been? Oh, good. You're doing both sides of it? <laughs> and you don't no want anyone variation. to be cool. <laughs> there's no variation. No, that was, that was You're gonna side. be cool up, like, Cody. Like Anomalisa. It's like the same voice. That was trippy. As I like hell. art. I like art films. Mm. What's it like out here? <laughs> you tell me. You're here too. <laughs> We're all here. Everything is light. Especially Join us, you. Cody. It's glowing. That's it's, right. It's the light of a burning shed. Your eyes still work. Go into the shed, Cody. It's Don't me, Drew Droji. <laughs> the Thanks Apple Sisters are by. here. The Apple Sisters? Yeah. Harm our superstar. Fire. Join us in the grave of Earwolf Legends. How to be less old. OMFG. Would you like a halo now?
Yes, please. Hi, it's me, Professor Blastoff here. <laughs> oh, hey, Professor. The Hatch. You look so nice in gowns. Oh, thanks. It's me, Mike Detective. <laughs> That was a great ending. I like really the way good it way to go. It really, it was a beautiful. Yeah. I mean, it was again. This show seems scripted now. Very strong yeah. wrap up, almost too perfect. Yeah, people are like, they didn't improvise that, and they're right. We didn't. So, Cody, you went in the grave of the Earwolf Legends. Jeez. Mm-hmm. And I wake up out of the dust, and I'm back here now. Well, look who's writing the show. Breathe, <sighs> man. Just breathe. Do you want that to be a song? Uh, yeah, I'll listen to that. Doesn't seem like you do. I'll listen to that. Uh, I need you to be excited about it. Oh, fuck. No, no, no. Let's put that. (laughs) I've got plenty more. Okay, okay. I'll just circle back. Okay. Okay. Let's circle back. I'm going to circle back to the freelance thing, I think. You want him to have a freelancing song, like a like a bullfighter, like or that yeah, one da, 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 that's actually more like spit, like throwing pizza, or that one setup you want to finish of like, oh yeah, he'll well, be freelancing. I'm, all remem- right. I'm oh, just did remembering. Oh, you get to the end of that? Yeah. You get to the no, part? no, I'm just remembering that we're allowed to circle back to stuff like that. Allowed, we're encouraged. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I just didn't call it at the time. Well, I call it now. Maybe it's something about Lance Armstrong. Yes. Oh, like free Lance? <laughs> yeah. Oh, he'll like be free freelancing, Lance all right. Armstrong? Freeing free Lance, Lance Armstrong yeah. from jail. Yeah. I love when Sean's quiet because it means he's like, he's really there's cookies something. in the oven, and then mm. boy, are those cookies gooey They're when married. they come out. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Is there- I'll circle back to a response to that. <laughs> what did you, you say, Cody? I said marinating. Ugh. Mark marinating. <laughs> oh, podcasts! That's another show that you're in the Earwolf. Oh with. yeah, you there. What was that about? Cats? That was a show about Mark Marin's cats. Who hosted it? Uh, so I know people, by the way, that have gotten shows rejected at Earwolf. Mm. <laughs> good, I do too. Good. Just a preface for this. It was a show starring Mark Marin's three cats. I think the voice Eddie Pepitone was one of the voices. Mm-hmm. Do you remember who the other ones were? Jim Davis. Could have been. I, I don't remember who anyone was. Von, I didn't even know Cat Von D. I, Cat Von D. He was definitely one of them. And it was like that Mark Marin was never on the show. He wasn't no. involved. And never involved. But Boomer the Cat was one he of them. He gave his yeah. blessing, I'm sure. Wasn't uh, Jess Chafin one of them? She could have been. That sounds right. You say Chafin, I say Chaffin. I, I Like I said, I... The, the handbook is very vague on all the stuff. I've stayed the, in her home. The employee handbook. I've been yeah. a house guest. Okay, you're probably right. I, I definitely, like, I wouldn't know because it's, okay. it's not in the employee handbook to know that stuff. The handbook again, he says. Yeah. He yeah. knows the name Are of the show. Are you quitting because there wasn't a handbook? I mean, there's a lot of things that play into a decision. There's a help, lot of things yeah. in Beetlejuice that aren't in real life. This is such a good summary of Cody's career. You it's know, true. It's the perfect way. This episode is the most fitting tribute I could imagine. It feels like Cody. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know going in that we'd be able to recreate. Who's the love interest? <laughs> there has to be a romance. Yeah, that's true. Oh, should we do, I mean, should we do a song about Cody's girlfriend? <laughs> Sure, yeah. Yeah. That would be good. Wouldn't that be nice? Yeah. Can you get us some music? Sure, here you go. Wait, wait, what? Can I I need to know a little more about... Never mind. Dollar fifty for TP, two dollars for bowling, three twenty-five for sponges and dish detergent. Love is settling up. (laughs) If you love someone, you settle up. You Venmo for everything (laughs) either one of you buys. Keep it public. Everyone has to know exactly how petty you are about the money you spend in your relationship. I still use PayPal. I mentioned it before. I stole a couple passwords, but I've since reformed. Thank you, Julie. And Cody, you want to say something special to Alyssa? Fair is square. Ugh. 
turned it up to do that. <laughs> he blasted the music. Mm. Very good engineering sense. I could see why you feel like you've grown out of. And that you earned that money you stole. Earwolf. And that now it's time to really learn more. That you know that what the engineer does is when it's time to say something, you I'm turn about the music to have my, up. My one moment to deliver any message I want <laughs> to the love of my life. Let me just blast the music under what I say. Over what I say. <laughs> the music's playing under it. Well, it's over if it's louder. Should I propose to her, maybe? I thought you just did. Maybe. I could hear love the music for you to was very loud. On, uh, yeah, yeah, you can propose on the show. Yeah. It would also be fun to buy a wedding ring. The way you propose would be to buy a ring and then, and then s- bill her? see a payment on Venmo, a, pay- <laughs> a payment yeah. request. That's a great proposal. For half the cost love, of a wedding I ring. I love that, getting invoiced. That's what I meant. I love it. Yeah. Because it's official. Yeah. You could ignore a text that's like, you owe me $505 in one cent. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just an honest proposal. Mm-hmm. You put that in the note section of the invoice, like memo. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. That's a trick question. There are no memo sections. It's a check. Oh. Gotcha. Gotcha, bitch. <laughs> i never seen anybody get busted that bad. Hey everyone, there's a new season of Raised by TV coming soon, but you can hear it early right now, only in Stitcher Premium. Yeah, and this is probably the most relatable show on Earwolf, uh, because I actually was Raised by TV, and I know Hayes was And I myself, when I was a child, was Raised by TV as my mom and dad. Yeah, and my... TV was teacher, yeah. and my TV was principal too. Yeah, and uh, and, and guidance the police, counselor, and the police, and, the police. and uh, and also the um, lunch lady. And they watched a lot of TV, and that's John and Lauren, and they got mind warped by television, and so did we. And now they've come together to indulge their shared obsession. Mm-hmm. And so do you want to talk a little bit about – I know we were raised by TV yes. too. That's not what our show's about. But there's one show in particular that I feel like was really my mom and dad. Yeah. I think we both know what it is. Yeah. Silicon Valley. Yes. And so the life lessons in Silicon Valley, mm-hmm. you know, whether it's – Ehrlich putting his foot in his mouth again. Yeah. Or and um, Dinesh and his friend being mad at each other and doing pranks, but then they're friends again. Oh, yeah. No. And even if it's them or even if it's one of the other characters yeah. being pissed off or um, if, it's in, if it's in beta yeah. and it's about to go live and there's a bug, all that stuff I wind up using in my job. So – yeah. So I was raised by TV and Silicon Valley. Even though I'm laughing, I also am getting a lot of good input that I wind up applying yeah. when I'm trying to deal with Cody and he is uh, d- doing his like sex magic, magic with a K or whatever, Yeah, uh, just like Martin Starr does on the show. I was a baby watching Silicon Valley instead of my mom and dad, mm. and I was actually learning a lot about how to work with a, with a, a group. With, with, and, and one woman. And yes, and the, a, a woman who's like a babe. Uh, and that it makes sense for the company to basically be the same size for like five – Seasons and to sort to sort of never quite break the well, way it's you're in sort beta. of beta. Well, I think what you're referring to is the, is the, it is in beta. So go to stitcherpremium dot com slash raised by tv and use promo code handbook for a free month of Stitcher Premium. Hollywood handbook. Hey, <laughs> what was I going to circle back to before? Well, you were talking about. Um, the Lance Armstrong thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did we not put that to bed? Well, you said you were going to circle back. To, well, we gave you a lot of compliments. That and then you you not only I absorbed liked. the compliments, but you go, yeah, that's good. Like you gave yourself one mm-hmm, too, and mm-hmm. then you said, I'm going to circle back to it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, should we do like just like another theme for Cody? Just like what do you um, mean a theme? Just like Cody, you know, just like a just Cody's like theme, a scene in the musical um, for just him doing. Have you seen a musical? Yeah, it has scenes in it. Oh, I thought you said theme. 
No, they also have themes. What are you talking about? I don't understand what you're getting at, Kaze. I'm, I'm just challenging you the way that I like to challenge my students what? because I know I have like a duffel bag. Full Am of I cash. being crazy? N- no. Don't Julie's, gang Julie's up doing on it. me. Don't gang up on me. Wait, I have to be honest. This is my freaking host here. This is my captain. As a sidekick, I can't go against Man Hayes. This is the music for your theme? Okay. Hit record. Everybody's talking. What's going on? Press play. Vice News. Oh, I think we're, I know what we're doing now. Okay. This is like a day in the life, basically, of like what he usually does before he realizes that he's going to quit. I'm loving this Vice News. I'm learning so much Vice News. <laughs> Boy, is this nice news. What about a Bible for lads? <laughs> A picture of a man playing PlayStation in the tub. <laughs> I'm laughing so hard I can barely host the show. You can hear the multiple things I'm watching and listening to <laughs> through the computer as we're trying to record. And I'm editing Scarborough Country too. <laughs> oh no. Task. <gasps> They're talking to me. <laughs> Why do I keep hearing my name in my headphones? No! I got a snappy response. I got a snappy response. I got to think of a snappy response. What's my snappy response? I must have been misleading when I said I got a snappy response. What I meant to say was I need a snappy response. I don't got a snappy response. response. my snappy response? (laughs) Hey, it's Cody. I uploaded the episode. Try to play it. The file size is zero kilobytes. <laughs> <laughs> Heading to the Dropbox now. Oops. 30 minutes later. <laughs> hey, I checked the Dropbox. There's nothing in here. Sorry, the internet on our end is being really slow. <laughs> No problem will do, no problem will do Why is everyone so mad at me? Cody's theme I owe you an apology, Hayes Right? Yeah, I know I know when to admit that I am wrong And that felt like something not of a musical That mm-hmm. you're kind of getting the I theme I already in. apologized, yeah. Sean Okay, but is there any reason that I shouldn't twist the knife? <laughs> That's good pod. Uh, oof. Oofa. Oofa. Well, do we need any more songs? What time is it? Is there anything else you want to say, Cody? Probably a Blue Apron finale, I'd say. A song? That's more Chef Kevin's thing. Right. Fine. I guess I'll just shut the fuck up then. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I have, I'm at a loss for words at what I would say. I think I've said quite a bit. That's a fun, like, like Gilbert and Sullivan, like, I'm at a loss of words. I don't know what I'm going to say. Mm-hmm. I don't know what I, like, but like he's saying a lot. I think that's yeah. what he was trying to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. What do you guys think? What would you say if you were me? If I was you? Oh, nothing. I'd clam up. I would have been gone already. This, like, you're here for, like, two more weeks. Senior slump. Who's replacing you? Uh, oh, uh, that's a good idea. What about, what about that as the finale? Oh, yeah. Like a new, like, like, look, it's me. I'm a fresh yeah, young face, new, and yeah. I'm new in town. Engineer. And I, I'm eager and, you know. Takes off his backpack. We, it's and a it white is male. a his. Yes. It's, a <laughs> it's not a woman. I just, I've been at Earwolf long enough to know, if anything, it'll be a man dressed as a woman. Oh, funny. Which is really funny. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, but it's not going to be a woman. Um, and it ends and with it, he like puts the headphones on at the end. Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Here we go. Upbeat, upbeat. Here we go. Yes. Here I am on my first day. Can't wait to sit in Cody's seat. Turn on the computer. The only program is an Arnold Schwarzenegger soundboard. <laughs> 
How did this guy do his job? What has he been doing for six years? Chef Kevin here. Can I get you anything? New engineer? You bet you can. I'd like some stuff. <laughs> Oi, bruv. Hope you fit right in. It's me, Colin. I'm chuffed. Hey, it's me, Josh. I'm kind of the alpha dog in this office. Hi, you- it's Julie Klausner. I'm lost again. <laughs> Can you give me some directions? Sean, can you just come down? <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> hang on. Uh, yeah, I'm getting texted. Hold on. Uh, yeah, okay, I see her. She's right directly in front of the building. Can I <laughs> Can I say walk straight? I'm afraid she'll go into the road. <laughs> Help! Okay. Help! I'm being nope, coming down. Over by <laughs> coming <a> down. Bus. <laughs> Goodbye, Cody. Bye. Wait, wait. What? And he goes. And he goes. I think I'm gonna like it here. And then he puts the things on. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. yeah. Sets us up for a sequel as well. You know what? I'm mm-hmm. I'm glad you didn't shut the fuck up before. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Hayes. Thanks, guys. That was a cool ending. Thank you. I can picture it. Are you done um, circling back? We got to do ads. Unfortunately, we do have we don't a no. have a ton of time. Yeah, we've got to do ads. So I'm not going to be able to circle back. Mm. It's something to tune in for next week, I guess. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, Julie, got anything you want to plug? Just um, the meetings you're taking while you're here. Yeah, uh, to sort of you want to kind of vision board your meetings sure, and um, visualize how they're going to go. Plug um, the fish out of water. Uh, by Guillermo del Toro. It's such a fun movie mm. and kind of messed up. Yeah. Yeah. It's called The Fish Out of Water. Mm. Okay. I uh, don't know what that means. I mean, I just don't know. Really? Yeah. I'm not up on the movies this year. That's fascinating. That's so unlike you. That's yeah. so off brand. Are you depressed? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Hollywood Handbook. Hi, I'm Cameron Esposito. And I'm Rio Butcher. And we are stoked to bring our long-running stand-up podcast, Put Your Hands Together, to Earwolf. Yay! <laughs> Every week we record PYHT live here at the UCB Theater in Los Angeles. Recently, we've had sets or chats from folks like Sarah Silverman and Ari Kondabolu. We've had Earwolf faves like Paul F. Tompkins, James Domian, Nicole Byer. It's the opportunity to be at a live stand-up show hosted by two wives in your ears wherever you live. You can listen or subscribe right now on Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, or Earwolf.com. 